All right. Um, running with comics, 600 sub contest entry. Scott, uh, congratulations. That's a huge achievement. Um, I wish I'll, I hope I get there one day. Um, I guess I'll go straight into the, the old questions. Uh, question number one, favorite book I own. All right. Um, it's kind of two, kind of. This one's a big one for me. Uh, because I love the character. It's Alf. Um, the annual number two, signed by Bill Sinkiewicz. You can see it kind of there. He wasn't so talkative when I met him at Fan Expo. But uh, it's, it's an awesome cover that he did there. Good artist. Um, and really, my favorite book is probably this uh, Walking Dead Governor uh, special with Trevor Mall, Emerald City Comic Con variant. Oh, it's got a long title. Um, pretty freaking cool. Uh, the reason that one is because I got it at the con, took a while to get it, and I went with one of my good friends, and it was a cool experience going to the, the con for the first time, and I don't know, it just holds a lot of memories for me, and, and it's a cool issue. So, And Walking Dead is also what brought me back into comics again, so I, uh, I appreciate Walking Dead in general. Uh, what's next? Most underrated series. That would be... Oh, um, it's not one that I see anybody read. I've never seen anyone read it. Or show it, pick it up, anything like that. Uh, I got it at a con. It's a number. It was number one in the UK at the time. Um, I don't know about in America and Canada, but super cool book, Twisted Dark, by Neil Gibson. I'm a big fan of this. It's uh, it's really cool. It's got uh, Neil Gibson as a writer for. I have all three volumes of it. Um. Yeah, he writes it, and then he, it's a bunch of mini stories in each one, each trade, and they're all done by different artists, which is super cool. And uh, yeah, and each individual story is creepy or whatever, but they all kind of, they all have like a twist or whatever, and then all the stories mash up into one larger twist. Anyway, and I think each of the trades, as well, it all kind of intermingles into a whole story. Of short stories. Really, really good. I, I recommend it to everyone. Uh, and I've lent them all out to friends and whatever. No sign too bad. Creator. Michael, you're a dark individual. I am. Alright, next question. Number three. In my tome. Oh boy. Alright, I have two. This one has books that... I'm helping a few friends sell some books, so it's got their lists of books in it. And then books that some of my friends are looking for, that if I sit in a pick them up, kind of thing, the cheap or whatever. And yeah, so it's kind of like my not-for-me stuff. Or just random lists of shit stuff. Then I got this one, which is all, like, tabbed and whatever. All the trades I'm looking for. Sorry. All in here, all these trades I'm looking for. A lot looking for, I know where they are, but can't afford them at the moment. Uh, my indies that I'm looking for at the moment, there's not a whole lot there. Um, and then my Marvel books that I'm looking for. I like you guys highlighting and all that in the boxes that some people do, so. After watching all these videos, I might actually start doing that. It looks way better. Uh, DC. And then I've got my Holy Grail books here. These ones I'm really, really looking for. Detective Comics 225, First Martian Manhunter, X-Men Annual 14, and X -Men, or Uncanny X-Men 266, the Gambit books. Green Lantern number 87, the John Stewart first appearance. Uh, this is my favorite Green Lantern. Amazing Spider-Man 300, that's for a friend. Uh, Alpha number 48, it's the 
Seal Rape cover. And Fantastic Four issue 52, it's Black Panther. And these are just, I have lists of books to look out for if I see them for cheap. If I'm out and about and I have my tell looking at the store or whatever. Just so I don't forget anything. The highlighted ones are ones that I really want, personally. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of books here. Just, you know, watching people's videos and I see someone pull a book out, I write it down on the list. A lot. And these are three that I really want. Miss Marvel 16, 17, and 18. Right? First Mystique, kind of. And some more. It just goes on and on. Lists of books. There's doubles and triples of books in here. Just, yeah. I have to organize all that shit too. And the very back just has uh, just some other lists of books that I'm looking at to get and uh, some other stuff that I need to get and top loaders and tabs and stuff in my boxes. This list of crap. Um, next question. Four shout outs. Um, okay. Um, one for sure is uh, I guess it's like Packaday. P-H-A-K-A-D-A-Y. He's been doing uh, Cool videos, I'm liking them. A lot of like, you know, like omnibuses and trades and all that kind of thing. Uh, definitely a good guy to watch. I'm enjoying his videos. Um, another guy is Chad Kinesics. Chad, it's Chad slash Kinesics, K I N E S I C Z. Um, I like, he shows a lot of Jack Kirby stuff and that kind of thing. I've been getting into that a little more lately, so yeah. Another guy not YouTube related that I watch a lot of is Up to My Knees. And that's Max Landis. He wrote uh, Chronicle and he's got another movie coming out called American Ultra soon. I also follow him on Twitter and stuff. He's, uh, he's a funny dude. And his dad had directed uh, you know, Ghostbusters and a bunch of other shit. So. Uh, number five, ask me questions. I have two. Number one, as a record collector, what is your favorite record you own? Since I asked you, I figured I should answer myself. For me, it's Earl Scruggs doing banjos. That's my that's my jam right there. I love this record. I need a better copyright. Plastic's coming off of it. Bothers me. Uh, question number two. Other than the cat we see once in a while in your videos, do you have any other pets? Um, I have. I have a bearded dragon. His name is Dr. Doom. He's my pet. I don't really ever show him off in the videos or anything. But he's super cool. Anyway, I guess that's it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, congratulations. That's crazy 600 subscribers. That's so awesome. So happy for you, man. Um, yeah. <laughs>